Hello Tubes, uh, this is a week after my CTX video and I told you I was having problems with the keypad and various things. Anyway, I got in touch with this Facebook group and they suggested this firm, uh, MSR Detectors, to send it off to. And it's a week later, I've had it back and it's all been done. Really happy, I've had a free cap, even had some sweets back and it was literally done within a day and sent back. So I'm really, really happy. So I'll just show you what I've had done and tell you how much it was. Right, this is the detector, this is the firm, MSR Metal Detectors, there's all the details. I literally phoned him up, talked to the chap, very, very helpful. He tried to uh, um, ask me to do a few things first to see uh, if there was any other problems. He was very helpful and it, we found out basically it was the screen and other things. So he said just send it in with the details of what it is and in a small box. So I sent it in like this, I took it off the hand piece, it, it, it's quite fiddly to do that, but this is how I send it, um, I think they wanted it with the hand piece actually, but I sent it like this and they did it all. So that was the screen that was replaced, and that was the keypad that was replaced, real fiddly job. and. Um, 225 quid it was it was a set price i just paid they did the job i paid him through paypal or whatever it was and i've had it back now less than a week really really impressed i haven't put it on and tried it all yet so but um this firm if you've got a ctx 3030 i genuinely rate them because i didn't expect it back this quick and such quick work and easy job so um I haven't got any money off or anything. I was just passing it on to others who got a CTX or a mine lab that needs a repairing. Okay, it's only a short one, but I'll put it back together and we'll see how we get on. All right, tubes, we're putting it all back together now. There's two sort of clips there. You have to be very careful. Don't force it. Run the wire down here. Make sure it isn't snagged or anything and isn't too tight. And then run that there. Them coils will be pushed back in here when you go to fit that next bit on because it pushes up tight. So make sure you can push them in. Okay, so now we can put this bit on. Sit that on here. And then the next bit on. And then just slowly, slowly make sure nothing is caught and put the screws in there. So we will carry on. Right, Jude, we got to a certain stage here now. We need to get, we've got this in. You put the Made shaft in there by putting it in and twisting it and make sure it's the right way around. And at the bottom there you can see to get this in because this, this shaft is six inches longer than the original because I'm taller. Uh, you've got to make sure you get that electric right up as tight as you can go there on the coil. And then when you put it in here you can manage to just about get it out and I use a little piece of string to get it there. So we'll hook them up onto this bit now. And when you hook them on, you've got to be a bit careful when you slide that back in that you don't catch anything there. So make sure, especially on that far side one, be careful that that goes in there and it doesn't snag up on anything. I can't show you where I'm doing it because I've only got one pair of hands and it's a bit too awkward. Right, just for clarity now, that far one, if you can see in there, it goes a coil goes into that gap there you've just got to make sure that that coil can go back in this because when you push these back together so it is free the moves in and out of this plastic bit okay that should be too tight right we've got all this back together now this is the battery i was telling you about the one i've got here at the moment is the one where you put uh the actual batteries in the aa batteries uh the thing you've got to watch out for is that little o-ring there make sure that's clean and isn't broke just stop the water in I think they do a bit of a update on that but I don't go wading in water because I'm not that daft so this is what I say I really like about this detector you can get a good good sized battery with it, it lasts for ages and with this one you can just chuck normal batteries inside it so we'll stick this on and see if she works all right guys and gals we've got this all back together and as you, if you can see in the background there's a pattern on the back of the screen 
that was on it before it, it's all put together. So we'll fire up from the first time. At least the buttons work. Still see that pattern. Don't know if that is how it's supposed to be or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still that pattern there, but you can see everything. Buttons are working perfect. I can get change between the various things. I think I had it on a beach one. Um, before these wouldn't work up and down. So yeah, that's good. Couldn't get that back up. It's good. Well, that's all good. I don't know about that bit of a thing on the back of the screen there, but that's what it was like when it's off, and it's the same when it's on. So. I assume that's how it is. I can see it okay from here. Uh, so we'll have to wait until see what happens there. Another bit of an up thing. I bought myself some one-sided headphones, some Rattler Grey Ghost headphones, because um, they're brilliant noise that comes out of them to hear the signals, but. Sometimes you just want, don't want to be wearing two over your ears because it's a bit claustrophobic. So um, I thought we'd try a set of these out. These go into the M10 um, wireless unit. So I'll let you know how this all goes. Uh, thanks to the firm for sending this back so quickly and looking at it, it looks like it's going to work okay, but we obviously don't know yet. So I've got it on beach setting at the moment, put it on all metal. Yeah, you can see that there now. Really coming up clearly now, I've got to say, I can read that really clearly without glasses, which I couldn't before. See? I can turn that off then by going like that. And it will only go in the top corner of the screen. And if you want to see the bigger numbers, you just press that. See? Brilliant. The screen looks to be performing perfectly. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I know you always say it, but over. 98% uh, of people who watch aren't subscribed and it would help me out a lot if you would. Cheers.